Kia ora koutou. welcome to 16302 Algebra. I'm Richard Brown, I'm one of the lecturers here at Massey, and together with Chris Tuffley, we'll be taking you through this course. Now before you get underway, it would pay to log into Stream and have a good look through the course information guide. This PDF tells you pretty much everything you need to know about what is going to happen with the course, in particular when the assessments are, and what will be required of you and all that kind of thing. Also have a good look through Stream, look at what content there will be, um, and notice that there is a class forum on there as well. Might be a good idea just to introduce yourself to your classmates in there because maths is much more fun when you're kind of doing it in a bit of a community rather than just doing it solo. Okay, um, note that some of the content like video lectures will be added as the semester goes through. Likewise, I'm updating the course reader to incorporate the new edition of the textbook. The previous edition's reader is already there, but the updated one will be coming bits and pieces as I get it done during the, during the semester. Okay, so what are we going to be studying in this course? Well, algebra, basically speaking, is the study of the rules of manipulating mathematical things. Um, initially, we took numbers and we decided that we could freely multiply, divide, add and subtract them without really giving it a second thought, apart from, well, maybe dividing by zero. And this was fine. But we got to university and you've probably taken a course in linear algebra and suddenly the rules changed a wee bit. Suddenly it mattered which order you multiplied things in. That had never been a deal in the past. Some matrices didn't have inverses. That's like saying there was a number that you couldn't divide by it for some reason. Um, so it seemed like matrix algebra was subject to some different rules from the algebra of regular numbers. Um, so what we're going to do in this course is we're going to take a more principled look at what these kind of structures actually are. Um, and we're going to start nice and easy with a concept called a group. Now what we'll do is we'll start with a few basic principles called axioms. These are like setting the ground rules. And then we're going to build the theory step by step by step on top of that. And one of the real important outcomes of this course is that we'll be learning how to prove mathematical statements as we go. So the ways of thinking that we will be using in this course are quite different potentially from that which you've used in previous courses before. In that we're not just going to be performing mathematical calculations and computing useful things, we're going to be proving basic results. Um, and there's a, it's a kind of a different way of thinking and we're going to talk about what, the, what those ways of thinking are and how, do we, how, we, how we approach these types of problems. So it's a really, a really fun course and we'll learn some really beautiful and interesting mathematics on the way that help us understand things like symmetry in the world. So I'm really pleased that you're here with us and I really hope you enjoy it. Make sure you do work on the course as consistently as you can. And my contact details are on the stream page. Don't hesitate to get in touch with me by email um, if you want to chat about anything. Um, it's what I'm here for. So I really hope you enjoy it. Thanks. 